But I hate hearing Biden say, no, we don't want anything to do with Russia. They're a nuclear power, but so are we. And we're a bigger nuclear power. And we have brand new, because of me, nuclear weapons that we didn't have. And we have renovated weapons that were very old. And now they're renovated. And we never want to use them. And by the way, you know how you're not going to use them? By having them. If you didn't have them, we would have big problems. Mm -hmm. But we have them. But Biden shouldn't be talking the way he's talking. Because he's playing right into, he's playing right into Putin's hands. Putin... I've never heard this from a leader outside of Kim Jong-un, I guess, to a large extent. But Putin now talks about his nuclear capability all the time. He said, this is a, you do or the no-fly zone, you do this. We're a nuclear country. And Biden's saying they're a nuclear country. Mm-hmm. It's so weak. It's sending such a bad Would signal. you have a no-fly and zone? I have to say this. Yeah. The, the bombing of these cities yeah. indiscriminately, the bombing of these cities and the killing of all these people... It is a tragedy. This is this is a tragedy like I don't think we've witnessed since World War Two. No, it's crazy what's going on. No, they're bombing. You know, in Florida, we're in Florida. You had a building collapse in Florida on the beach, as you know, through bad structural engineering or rust or something. A lot of people were killed in that building. He's bombing much bigger buildings, and they're collapsing. And then they say... You see this massive building coming down all over the place. People are in that building. But you see the building come down, and then they say two people were hurt. No, no. No, when a building like that comes down, many people die. It's not two people are hurt. Mm -hmm. But they're coming down all over, and they're being blown to pieces. And so we had a, a case in Florida, as you know, on the shore, where a building collapsed for totally different reasons, but it collapsed. Well, buildings are collapsing now in Ukraine, and there are tens of thousands of people being killed, and nobody's reporting it. The press is trying to gloss it over. And I think if Putin is successful in taking over Ukraine, uh, depending on what your definition of success is, because, you know, potentially millions of people are going to die, and it could lead to Third mm-hmm. World War, mm-hmm. by the way. It could lead to a Third World War. Mm-hmm. I think That's that, crazy. I think what is going on now, is a direct reflection on the Obama administration because it should have never happened.